Good morning, my name is Gordon. In today's video, I'll show you how to take an image, in this case of a model airplane, import that image from your computer into TurboCAD, which is a popular consumer uh, computer-aided design program. Take that image in TurboCAD, trace over it with the drafting tools to create an outline of an airplane that you can then fill in with structure to build your own model airplane plan. So in this case, we'll start with an image of the Eastbourne monoplane. We'll make a PDF, bring it to the computer, bring it into TurboCAD, trace over that image, and the result will be this outline printed out from TurboCAD, about a 28-inch wingspan version of the Eastbourne with the fuselage and the wings right here. Very easy to do. You can use a variety <clears throat> of images to trace over. This is a three-view. You can even use photographs if you get a good photograph looking straight onto your um, subject. For this uh, video, what we'll do is we'll take a copy of a plan with Blackbird uh, monopane that I found on the uh, internet, insert them into TurboCAD, and trace over them. That's what we'll demonstrate in the video. So here's our screen. With TurboCAD, we want to open a new file, and we can position the window where we want it. And now we're going to select some commonly used tools. Uh, this is the toolbar uh, that's come down from the um, pull-down menu. This is the Snap menu. This is TurboCAD Explorer and the Inspection Bar. All these will be very helpful as we uh, do our various drawings. Notice that there is a 2D and a 3D selection in the toolbar. It's important that you be in 2D for these drawings. With the 3D, you get a lot more extra toolbars, not what you need for a 2D drawing. It'll check with you, and we are in 2D. And what we're going to do now is, you can see those little arrows in the bottom right-hand corner. You can drag to the right and tear off the toolbars because they expand out to uh, different tools that you can use. So here's a line toolbar. Uh, we can go ahead and pull off the um, circle toolbar. We can pull off the curve toolbar. Just makes it easier to get the various uh, tools there. This is the trim toolbar. And this is the mirror command uh, toolbar. And there's one more that we'll use, which will be the polygon for our rectangles. It just makes it a little bit easier to get to the specific tool that we want. Now what we're going to do now is to draw a box with our desired wingspan for the airplane. <clears throat> Unfortunately, we're using TurboCAD Deluxe version 11. It's in May 2020 right now. They just don't have the rulers on top of the uh, pages. So I'm going to draw a box 28 inches wide, and that's it right there. Note that we can move that around. And I'm going to put in a little reminder of 28 inches just as a reference for when we resize the drawing to have it at the right size. Note we can select that number itself, put it in the box. What we'll do now is select both the number and the box and under the edit menu, group it. And by grouping it, they um, are all one unit that we can move it around. We're not, this is just a reference. So now is the time we're going to import the image. The PDF is on the desktop. We'll get and um, I've put this layer here um, for trace. Uh, we're going to put it on this layer, which is visible right now. And all you do is you take the PDF, you drag it onto the workspace, and the image is copied there. Now, using the scroll wheel, I can zoom out and zoom in. By pressing the space bar, I get that little grabber hand. I can recenter the drawing. And what I'm going to do is select the um, PDF image, you can see the gripper tool there, and when you go in that blue arc, you can rotate it 90 degrees up in the inspector bar. I just type in 90, that'll get it right at the uh, correct angle. And with the intersection there, I can move it up to that 28 inch bar, which is a reference for our desired wingspan for this version of the Blackburn monoplane.
This is putting some construction lines on either end of the wings. Just these are non-visible lines on the drawing that we can align the wingtips to. We'll go ahead and select uh, the image again. Just try to get it a little bit closer to that inspection bar. Now with the gripper tool, with these yellow boxes, we can resize the image so that we shrink it down to fall within the 28 inches of the um, construction lines. What we're going to do now is to add another layer to the um, going to add another layer to the drawing uh, that's going to be um, we're going to draw on. I'm going to do a deliberate mistake here. I'm going to call this the tracing. And notice that it's a duplicate name. And that'll immediately pop up that you can't do that. So what I'm going to do is rename that first layer the image layer. And then we can name the fourth layer the trace layer that we're going to actually draw on. And by having this fourth layer, we can draw over the image of the uh, airplane. Notice you put uh, click the little eyeball symbol. That'll get rid of looking at that layer, just if you want to see what that looks like. So now we zoom in a little bit and we're going to take our line tools, various drawing tools, and literally draw over the picture to come up with the outline for the wing. See going along the wing tip, going down below, then drawing the trailing edge of the wing, then back up again. I've deliberately made the color of these lines red so they're a little bit easier to see in the inspector. We could draw on the front spar. And can draw in the rear spar as well. And we can add a few ribs. We'll add ribs to every other rib on the drawing because this will be a little bit smaller model than the one this was originally designed for. Notice that the lines are snapping to the intersection of the lines, both the top and the bottom. Now we're going to get rid of the view of the PDF, and there's our wing right there. In TurboCAD, you don't have to do the second half because there is a mirror command. And what we do is we select what we want to mirror. We click on the mirror command. We pick two points, and it will literally create a mirror image of what we've drawn. So we'll zoom out a little bit with a scroll wheel. We'll select both. And because these are linked with the mirror command, it's just a quirk of TurboCAD, the best thing to do is to copy it, paste it to get rid of that mirror command. You can see the grabber goes into the middle. That way we can individually select and move around each wing half. So we're going to delete that original one, select the one, uh, one of the wing halves, and just drag it over to be under the other one. Now we're looking at the plan again. I'm going to do another mistake here to show you how you just have to experiment with TurboCAD. Notice that the spar of the wing is just touching the drawing. When you try to move it away, because it's connected, it, it distorts the image. So what we're going to do is undo that move command. Just to show you another view of it, when you do that, it's still connected. Again, we're going to undo that. And what we're going to do is get rid of the image. Select the two wing halves again, get them further away from the image, bring back that image again, and now we're okay. We'll zoom in with the uh, scroll wheel, and now we will trace over the fuselage. Again, we'll just start at the back. Straight lines to the cockpit combing, 
up and around. Notice that the line is hunting for a snap point. It's not liking what it sees. This will happen from time to time. What I do is I just deselect some of the snap options so I have greater freedom to move that line wherever I need to be. Just with the end point is all I really need for this right here. Again, snapping to the end point, down the nose. And notice there's a curve coming up here. So we're going to stop the straight line here, begin another straight line for the underside of the fuselage, finish that up. And you'll see that there's a gap between the two lines right uh, above where the wheel is. I'm going to draw the rudder at this point. Again, just snapping to the endpoints. Get rid of the diagram. And you'll notice um, that there is a gap between those two lines underneath the fuselage. So what we're going to do is zoom in a little bit with a scroll wheel and with the curve tool, Selected here, we're going to snap to the end. It takes a little bit of practice, but just click along the curve, and it really does a pretty good job of capturing the curve of the airplane. Once you get to the other end point, hit escape, and that'll finish it up. We're going to now do another curve, and I'll do a mistake first to show you how not to do it, then the correct way. We're going to draw the vertical fin. Notice it's a straight line with a curve. So if we do the curve line for this whole thing, we'll snap at the end, we do it straight, we click here, but as you start coming around, you can see the line bends out. It does not keep being a straight line. So go ahead and continue this to the end, delete it, then show the right way to do that. So we select it, get rid of that. Now what we're going to do is combine a straight line for the straight portion and go back to the curve line with the end snap and just clicking along where you see a little circle, building the curve until we snap at the end point of the fin rudder line. We get rid of the image from that layer, and there's our fuselage so far. We get the image back, and the final thing to do for this demonstration is draw on the landing gear. So for the wheel, obviously we'll use a circle tool. You will know, start at the beginning, drag out to the edge, relocate that over the center of the circle. Then use the straight line tool to draw the rear and forward landing gear. Now we can remove the image and um, on that layer, and this is a view of the fuselage and the wings. Now I can select the two wings as a group, move them underneath the fuselage. Pressing the space bar with a little hand, we can center the drawing in our window. Take a look at the plan again. Get rid of that view of the plan. And what we'll do is we'll select everything, just move it off to the side, bring the plan back again, and that's a demonstration of how we can trace over an imported image in TurboCAD to get the outline of our plans, and you can fill in as much as you want with structure for the actual plan itself.